everyone in this video we are going to cover how to use aquatone for information gathering aquatone is an open source advanced active information gathering tool in another video i have already covered the steps to set up aquatone if you have yet not watched the video then i would request you to watch it before going ahead else if you have already set up aquatone then let's get started Aquatone for information gathering about a target. It tells us about the subdomains, open ports, and also helps us detect potential subdomain takeover. There are four different steps involved while using Aquatone, and it is very important to follow the order, else things will not work out. So let's see what those steps are. Our first step is finding the subdomains. For this. We use it helps us in finding the subdomains of the target which in our case is facebook.com so why i'm using facebook.com is for the simple reason that we are expected to get many subdomains so the execution of aquatone discover is complete and we can see it has listed down all the subdomains of the Facebook. All these subdomains along with the associated IPs are stored in a file host.txt and the path of that file is here. Now it is time for us to go to the next step that is There's a built-in port list provided by Aquatool. We can use small, medium, large or x-large. Small means only 80 and 443 ports will be scanned. For medium, these ports will be scanned and for x-large, these many ports will be scanned. It's our wish which list we want to use. So let's use large. Aquatone is now finding the open port for each of the subdomain that it discovered. The execution of our second command is also complete and we can see that Aquatone has listed down certain ports against each IP and subdomain that it found to be open. The list of all these open ports is stored in openports.txt file. Now it's time for us to move to our third step. Our third step is Aquatone Takeover, where the tool detects any potential subdomain takeover. Now what is subdomain takeover? Let me explain it to you. Let's take this as an example. Suppose you published an application on a third party site otherdomain.com, the address given to you was app.otherdomain.com in order to use that application on myexample.com you need to make a connection between them and this can be done by making a cname entry pointing to app.otherdomain.com suppose after some time you discontinue your subscription on otherdomain.com so now you no longer can use that application but you still have that entry that is pointing to app.otherdomain.com but this address that was given to you is now available for anyone to acquire so when the attacker checks the host entry for my.example.com they find that it is an alias for app.otherdomain.com this is because of the reason we still have cname entry pointing to app.otherdomain.com but when someone will try to access my.example.com they will get an error that no app found the attacker will make use of this misconfiguration and place their own app on app.otherdomain.com 
Now the content of attacker is published on app.otherdomain.com and your subdomain is pointing to it. So in a way they have taken over your subdomain and published their own content or your subdomain. So this concept is known as subdomain takeover. The command for expert tone takeover is Our third step is also complete and Aquatone did not detect any potential subdomain takeover. Now it is time for us to move to our fourth step. Our fourth step is Aquatone Gather. In this, Aquatone will try to access each of the discovered subdomain, the IP along with the ports and take a screenshot of it and everything will be compiled in form of a report and will be stored in the same directory. Make sure to execute this command as a root user or use sudo. Now, depending upon the subdomain discovered, IP found, number of ports that are open, and various other factors. This process might take some time. We are done with the execution of Aquatone Gather and we can see the number of pages that were successfully accessed and the number of pages in which there was a failure. Not only this, look over here, report pages generated, our HTML report is generated for all these pages. Let's have a look at this report. Each and every page that was accessed is stored under this directory. All the screenshots taken are stored over here. In this directory, a report is saved. Let's view it. Over here, a screenshot is put and over here we have the subdomain that was accessed or any URL that was accessed. Here we have the spawn header information. We just saw how Aquatone helped us in gathering information. It told us about the ports that are open, about the subdomains and all the URLs that are accessible and response headers. So that's why Aquatone is a very powerful tool and it must be used every time you are doing a VAPD. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for more such informational videos.